So, huge news at Ford. We're talking about the future of Ford and how things are going to dramatically change. Right now, Ford Lightnings are not that hard to find on dealer lots unless it's an XL 2023 XLT standard range battery that can be very very difficult to find or a pro model very very difficult to find if not well a pro model at least in Canada impossible to find let me know if there's actual available ones in the states but Jim Farley is saying that the new Lightning, the next generation Lightning, is going to smoke the Cybertruck. It'll be better than the Cybertruck, according to Farley. And that doesn't surprise me because there's a lot of battery intel coming from Ford. Uh, we're gonna, Ford is working with Volkswagen as a partner to get more to get way more advanced when it comes to battery technology. Now You've got some major changes that that are getting is getting talked about, and we'll go check that out over here at Ford Authority. So over at Ford Authority, we've got we've got it right here. It's not too far off. So over on Ford Authority, we've got uh, Ford partner VW achieves breakthrough on next gen EV battery. So you want to read this by Brett Foot. It's an excellent article, and it's talking about. Uh, new batteries that are your uh, it's a battery that's been tested and over a long period of time so they've tested it for a thousand hours which is the equivalent of 300,000 miles because it's a thousand hours of very rigorous testing and over this thousand hours of testing worth 300,000 miles of real world driving that's what they say it's you know compared to or equivalent to the battery only lost 95% of its capacity. So that we're talking about uh, the battery's total autonomy. We're talking about charge times, just general battery health. The battery, you could say, lost 5% of its health. And that's a huge difference to what we have in regards to lithium ion batteries. You look at, there is a Tesla owner who's made 1.2 million miles in his Tesla, but he's gone through 14 engines, if I recall correctly, and six five or six batteries. So he's had to do his batteries. I, re I did the math. I re remember it was just ever so slightly over every 250,000 miles he needed a new battery. We all know lithium ion batteries can cost a fortune. A lightning battery, for example, the battery and the time to replace that battery can look like, um, if I recall correctly, wa uh, watching a video from our six foot five uh, Texan, uh, I, you know, she was talking about, I think, 40,000 US dollars for the extended range battery. Now, the new solid state EV battery utilizes a 24 layer interior structure and it's de developed by QuantumScape, that is a California based company. And VW has put a lot of money into it. So, Ford's partnership with VW and VW pumping money into quantum scape scape means this should be a, a battery technology available to ford but we're not talking i'd be surprised if it's available for the next gen ford lightning which we should ex expect for 2025 or 2026 i would expect it maybe more around you know we're maybe five years off but who knows maybe we'll get a nice surprise and it will be available in three years i'd say the next battery technology though that we're going to see isn't this one the next battery technology is going to be lithium iron phosphate where its benefits if you compare it in size an equally sized lithium iron uh, lithium ion battery will last longer more range so for equal size lithium iron phosphate doesn't have as much range but you can fully charge it from zero percent all the way to a hundred percent so much faster charge times and really if we get charge times f f to be fast enough then we can actually deal with smaller batteries that we just charge more often on the fast chargers especially if those fast chargers don't deteriorate and affect the long-term durability of the batteries which is an issue with lithium ion current battery technology doesn't like to be fast charged on a regular basis so this is going to be that is a good looking volkswagen van i'd like to see an all-electric volkswagen van mind you a lot of people buy these volkswagen have traditionally historically bought these volkswagen vans to do some traveling in and with traveling either range will need to go way up and that will increase 
electric sales across all make, make and manufacturers or much much faster charge times now already what's interesting with the lithium iron phosphate battery that ford will be coming out with their next battery technology is that it's removing those precious mi minerals that are you know in limited supply require a lot of energy and pollution to produce well it's going to be nice to see ford getting those out of the battery technology so that's your huge ford news uh, right here this evening we're going to go on to news from other brands uh, because well we don't just cover ford so let's move right into the next topic now the next topic we're going to be talking about dealers and well are they really flooded with new trucks that they can't sell so let's go check that out right here right now so are dealers flooded with